to access the color sort tab for program preferences, we need to first go into the program preferences by clicking on the icon you see here or up top here or going to tools preferences. And once inside here, we need to find the color sort tab. And there's only one setting here. This is all based off of a percentage. And this color sort works with the color sort tool. And that is just minimizing the number of color sequences in a design based on the color. And how this works is you enter in a minimum um, allowable color overlap per layer. It's all based on this percentage. It allows you to select a maximum percentage value used for the sensitivity of layering when the color sort tool is used. So this determines the portion of stitches that must be overlapped in order for the color sort to take place. So if it's at 100%, which is not the default, the default is 5. Um, if we're at 100%, this is telling the software that regardless of overlapping or anything, we're going to actually sort these colors so that every color is just in one color sequence. So you can see in this design that I have here, and if we look at the color sequence, you can see that this color of green shows up a couple times, this color of yellow shows up a couple of times. If I put this value to 100 and hit OK, if I select this design and I hit the color sort tool, it's going to reduce it by five colors. So if you look in the sequence view now, each color is its own sequence. It's not going to do the same color more than one time. If I hit undo, you can see the sequence view, how it changes back here. So let's go to program preferences here. We'll go to color sort. The default is five, and that means 5% overlap is allowed. So let's go to OK with the five. I'll select it all, and I'll hit color sort. And it only does it by four colors. So there is a color here. This 275 shows up twice because the software determined that it was going to change the look of the design if um, it compressed that color into the the other one um, of the same color. So the software is smart enough to know when it should and shouldn't um, color sort if you have the setting selected. Um, so color sort here is definitely recommended to be at 5%. Um, if I put this at zero and hit OK, and we do a color sort, it's going to not reduce anything um, for this particular design because it's going off of the overlap percentages here. So if we come back into this program preferences and color sort, the best results that I've experienced is five. And the thing that you have to keep in mind whenever you're doing color sorting is that you don't necessarily want to reduce it to only do the one color um, all the way through and and not repeat that color somewhere down the line and the reason for that is because it's very easy to cover something up so just to show you what I mean by that if you look at this green right here you can see that it's kind of over the top of a white if I zoom in here so you have this white and you have this green if I come in here and I select this, let me go to program preferences first, and I'm going to change this to um, 100 and hit OK. I'm going to select this design, and we're going to zoom into this area right here. I'm going to hit color sort, zoom back out a little bit. I'm going to hit color sort, and it reduced it by one color. But notice the difference here. Now this white is done on top of that green. So the sequence has just been totally changed for it. And it's not really um, going to be giving you the same look for the design. So that's one of the things you have to keep in mind. You want to keep, you want to make sure the design looks as it should. And it's easy when you're using the color sort tool to be too aggressive with it. And that's why I recommend the default setting at five. And if you don't remember what the default setting was, you can just click this use default and it will put it back to the default setting and then hit okay. So 
if I undo this design again and I get it back to the original now you're gonna see that it's going to color sort it but everything is is going to look the same it's just going to combine the ones that it, it can and it will allow there to be multiple colors of the same color as well in order to keep the integrity of the design so that's how the color sort um, tool works and that's how the preferences affect how the color sort tool works